our next guest, Giza's story has been an interesting one since he was born in Ethiopia. He has studied in Moscow before moving to Stratford, uh, the hometown of his wife, Nicole. He's received a lot of recognition for his work in Canada, including the RBC 2017 Top 25 Canadian Immigrant Award, the Ontario Government's Newcomer Champion Award, and the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award. He is currently the driving force behind the Multicultural Association of Perth Huron. May I introduce to you Giza Wardofa. It took me a lot of practice just to say your first name. Did I say the last name okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get your microphone in here. Uh, prime, prior to coming to this area, you worked with the United Nations and in refugee camps. What did, what did you do? Uh, yeah, uh, first I want to say thank you very much, you guys. This is my, one of my favorite uh, towns in Mary. Sometimes I'm coming with my wife, with my family for dinner. Wonderful community. First, thank you very much for all of you guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I used to work for the United Nations uh, helping newcomers, I mean refugee. Um, most of the time I used to work with the Middle East, the Middle East like uh, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Afghanistan, uh, and also Iraqi, Iran, and uh, also the part of uh, Africa from Congo and uh, Ethiopia refugee, uh, right. helping and finding a job, uh, asylum seeker, and um, I mean like uh, through Canadian Embassy in Moscow, mm -hmm. we used to work with a resettlement program. Right. When you came to Stratford, what prompted you to start a multicultural association? Oh, uh, really? You know, uh, by nature, uh, I love to help. By nature, I love to help. I love to support everybody. And for me, when I came the first time, there is no uh, any uh, newcomers association or any uh, resettlement program. Uh, and then I start in the um, to start this business, I mean, like uh, to help others, uh, like paperwork, how do you feel, um, like uh, driver license, how to get uh, that's that's because for me it's very tough, especially all, all the sort of survival yeah. things they need to do to just get get settled into the into new country, in new countries, yeah. yeah to, to me, so, to so what were some of the difficulties you had to overcome? Uh, of, um, um, I mean, in setting up the multicultural association. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I mean, it's sometimes language. Of course, you speak my language. Is, I speak eight languages, but my language is still, is still, you guys, I'm struggling. But that's the main thing: is communication, language, and also um, understanding, and also culture. That's a culture shock, and uh, I mean, from the big camel to Mercedes. That is a lot of between, and that's for me difficult. And what was the biggest shock when you came to Stratford? Uh, for me, the big uh, shock and um, uh, the police, they don't stop you. In Moscow, when the <laughs> police stop you, you have to pay a bribe. And then one day when I'm just walking in the park, the police came and then, oh, hi, how are you? And then, and then I'm just looking, where is my $20? Where is my $100? <laughs> That was, I'm ready to pay for him. He said, okay, he's just, okay, uh, I'm looking for a coffee shop. And then, okay, and then he bring a big computer. He showed me, okay, do you want to go to Tim Horton? This one. He showed me. That's for me, shock. And in, in, in Moscow, and then you have to pay or you have to go to jail. That's why I'm lucky. And then, okay, and then I ask him, I'm okay. He said, oh, you are okay. And then, and then when I have to pay the money for police? And you, then, yeah. You're putting on your second multicultural festival at St. Mary's. Uh, why? Uh, yeah, we, we're doing in, in, in Stratford or, uh, our sixth anniversary in, in Stratford second. Because why? Because the community is very strong, uh, wonderful. One of the second respond to Canada. St. Mary uh, invited, uh, multi, I mean, um, Syrian family. And that is for me, you guys, you are very big, uh, big heart, uh, big community. You are more support. That's why I love to give back for community to support um, this area. We have almost 69 newcomers living, you don't believe me, in St. Mary. Wow. And then this is from all over the world. And that's why we just, you know, we're doing sometimes get together. That's what we're doing. And then to say thank you for community. There is nothing, uh, you know, they are very welcome. So what kind of things are going to happen at this festival next week? Yeah, we're doing, uh, we have a flyer all in town. Yeah, we have uh, music, uh, African music from Jamaica, 
and also from Stratford uh, uh, turning the roles and also Latin music, Ethiopian. Oh. And then we have ethnic food and also local uh, vendor. If you have any, you guys, if you need vendor, just welcome, you can ask me. And then um, it's no cost, yeah. $5, I mean, donation. If not, we don't need, but just welcome to come and to see And the food you. was really good. Okay, well, let's go over the things that people need to know. First, <clears throat> the date of, the, of your multicultural festival? Uh, it will be uh, August 5th, uh, next Saturday. Next Saturday, okay, starting and where is it? Uh, to, uh, by flat. Okay, the flats are Milt Dunnell Field. Okay, flat. And what time does it start? Starting one o'clock. One o'clock and it goes until? Till nine o'clock. Until nine o'clock. Yeah. Okay, and when is the music on? Uh, the music is starting, we have uh, starting one, uh, one thirty starting at uh, Prayer First Nation music and then uh, like around two, uh, I mean one forty-five officially music right. starting. And so it's absolutely free, you can make a donation. Absolutely. And the food, I've ate the food, I've, Everybody knows yeah. me. I like food. Yeah. Uh, and the food was amazing last year, and the price was really good. So, yeah. uh, any other information we should know? I want to say thank you very much for all of you guys. You know, always I'm just walking downtown. My favorite coffee is you just open up, uh, Emily, your lovely coffee. And then I want to say thank you for all of you guys. How we are a wonderful community. We live this. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I just moved from Russia, and I moved from Russia. I, I'm from Ethiopia. And when I'm just walking in Moscow, because of I'm a black, they stop me. Yep. Here, welcome to Stratford, welcome to St. Mary. Okay, beautiful. You know, thank well, you very thank much. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, thank you.